everybody! Welcome back on my channel. It's your girl Christine back at it again with another video. So guys, let's appreciate naman my new setup, my new background. I am very excited because of this. Wala na, i-share ko lang. So kung bago pa lang dito sa channel na to, welcome! My name is Christine and I do makeup and lifestyle videos here in my YouTube channel. And I upload every Saturday and Sunday twice a week. So if you have any video suggestions, just comment it down below and I will be very glad and happy to do it for you. So for today's makeup tutorial, I am going to teach you on how to create the makeup look for your job interview for the flight attendant position. So without further ado, let's start on to the video. Okay, first step na gagawin natin on our makeup tutorial is to apply primer. And I am using this one from Smashbox. It is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, silicone type siya. So, gagamit tayo ng primer today para kumapit yung makeup na ilalagay natin sa ating mukha. So, even after hours of waiting in the line, waiting for your turn, pak na pak pa rin yung makeup. Alright, after the face primer, proceed na sa foundation. And right now, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Ngayon, nasa concealer na tayo. I am going to use my Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer. So to avoid creasing underneath the eyes, magbibake tayo ng face natin and I'm going to use my Coty Air Spun. And with that, I am also going to use this triangular sponge to apply the product on my face. So this one, nabili ko lang siya sa Daiso so it's very affordable. We'll leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes, allow it to set, and then while we are waiting for our face to bake, gawin na natin yung ating kilay. Gagamit ako ng powder. This one is from Sephora. And you can also use a pencil or a pomade or whatever you're comfortable using with. But for me, I prefer to use powder type of eyebrow. So whenever we draw our eyebrows, um, as much as possible, gawin lang natin siyang natural. Like, hindi masyadong makapal, hindi masyadong manipis. Just follow the natural shape of your eyebrows. Alright, so done with the eyebrows. As you can see, very simple and very minimal lang yung pagkaka-apply ko sa aking kilay para mas professional looking. So, now let's proceed on to the most trickiest part of this makeup tutorial, which is the application of the eyeshadow. Alam ko marami sa inyo yung namang problema or hindi masyadong marunong or magaling na maglagay ng eyeshadow. But since it's a job interview, you should put proper makeup. So, let's not skip on to the eyeshadow, guys. And ayun, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano gawin to. So, today I'm going to use my Tarte Lead Palette. And guys, hindi kailangan maging uh, same exact product yung gagamitin nyo. Any, any matte shadow can do. And ayan, I'm going to show you the shades that I'm going to be using. So, actually, I have a love and hate relationship with this palette. Some of the shades I love, some of them mm, medyo... Um, hesitant ako na gamitin kasi um, it's very chalky so if you blend it 
hindi mo masyadong ma-achieve yung gusto mo. So, you need to have proper makeup tools on using this palette. And yung mga example ng shades na gagamitin ko is this one. So, this is in the shade Wanderer. Also, this two, which is called the Dreamer and the Multitasker. So, ayan yung tatlong shade na pwede natin gamitin. Alam ko naglagay na tayo ng face primer, pero hindi pa rin tayo naglalagay ng eye primer. So, for the eye primer, it helps to retain the eyeshadow for a very long time. So, what I'm using is this Urban Decay um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow Primer Potion. So, let's apply a little amount on our lids and blend it using our fingers. After putting eye primer, um, I'm going to take this shade Wanderer. So it's like a light shade of brown. So it's going to be, it's going to serve as our transition shade just to warm up the skin. And don't forget to tap the excess whenever getting the product. using this shade called Dreamer. Kukuha lang ako ng konti. And using my Real Techniques um, Precise Brush, I'm going to apply it on my outer V. So, lalapit na ako sa inyo guys para mas makita nyo. Konti-konti lang guys yung paglagay sa outer V. And just blend it pa kayo satisfied sa color, you can always get little amount on the palette. Using this light shade called Free Spirit, I am going to use my hands on applying it on my eyes and put it in the center of my eyelids. Dust off muna natin yung ating binake na powder. So, kung mapapansin nyo, maputing-maputi yung mukha natin. Pero okay lang yan. Kasi mamaya, we are going to balance it. This brown shade called Dreamer na in-apply natin sa ating eyelids, I am going to take it again and put it on my lower lash line. This is very optional, but for me, I prefer to put eyeliner on my eyelids because I have very small eyes and to emphasize my eyes even more and to uh, have an illusion of slightly bigger eyes, I always put it on my makeup routine. So done with the eyeliner. As you can see, very simple and minimal lang yung pagkakalagay ko. Um, huwag natin masyadong habaan yung tail. Alam naman natin yung iba sa atin, minsan napapasobra yung, yung tail sa liner, cut eye look nga, ba? Pero for this look, um, let's all keep it simple. So now we are going to proceed on putting mascara. But before that, curl muna natin yung lashes natin. And for the mascara, I'm using my Total Temptation from Maybelline. So, 
nabe-blend ko lang ulit yung aking eyeshadow. Make sure walang harsh lines all over. Alam niyo naman guys na ang secret ng makeup is through blending. You need to blend the makeup really well. So I'm going to use bronzer today. This one is from Catrice. This is the Sun Glow. No, Sun Glow, yeah. Sun <laughs> Matte Bronzing Powder. So, we are going to warm up the face. Kasi, sabi ko nga sa inyo, medyo maputi yung mukha natin ngayon. So, we're going to balance it all out using a bronzer. And where's my... Where's my brush? Okay, so... Tap the excess and make sure it's all blended. Of course, paulit ulit ko sa sa inyo guys to blend your makeup para walang harsh lines to make it look natural, just like what you are seeing right now. So nagkaroon na ng shape yung mukha natin, nagkaroon ng dimension. Don't forget here, so my forehead area on the sides, number three. So just draw number three. Ganyan ako maglagay ng acting bronzer. Same procedure on the other side. Siyempre, magna-nose line din tayo kasi kailangan natin yan, especially sa mga walang ilong. <laughs> and medyo maayos na yung ilong natin. And now, we are going to proceed on putting the blush. So, yan. I'm going to use this. I think I got this from Wet n Wild or Rimmel. I think it's from Rimmel. <laughs> Sorry. And very favorite ko tong shade ng blush na to. As you can see, very favorite ko siya. And it's about to retire. <laughs> Tatap ko lang yung excess. Kasi kailangan natin itap ang mga excess balish. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ano yung sinasabi ko, guys. Kung ano na yung sinasabi ko. Wala na akong maisip na sabihin. <laughs> So, parang dot dot lang. That's how I apply my blush on. Itong gagamitin kong highlight, this one, very sheer lang naman siya. It's not like my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter na very shocking. This one is very light. So, hindi siya ganong kaharsh sa look natin. I'm going to show you. Diba? Para lang siya natu natural shimmer. Maganda kasi yung highlight pag natatapat sa ilaw. Mas magiging like wow. <laughs> Dito din sa my forehead. To complete the look, let's now proceed on putting our lipsticks. Choose something that is a bold and sophisticated. So best example of that are red lipsticks. So I have two examples of red lipsticks here. So this one from Maybelline, meron siyang bright shade of red. This one from Sephora. Ito naman is parang meron, meron siyang pagka dark shade ng red. Today, I am going to use this one from Maybelline because this is my current favorite as of the moment. In the shade of 690 Siren in Scarlet. So after nyo ma-apply yung lipstick, get a tissue paper and use it to blot your lips. With that, may iiwasan din natin na magkaroon ng stain sa ating teeth. So ngayon, we're going to proceed on to the hair. So tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gawin yung hairstyle na gagawin nyo on that interview. And just always make sure to tie your hair up in a bun. Kasi yun talaga yung mga preferred ng mga employers whenever you're applying. Kuha lang ako ng ponytail. 
black ponytail. Itong makeup look na ito and yung hairstyle na ginagawa ko ngayon, ito na talaga yung ginagawa ko. Even before, like way before when I was still applying for the job. And ito pa rin naman yung makeup look na ginagawa ko um, during flights. So, if you've seen my previous video, I'm going to link it down below in the description box, yung aking Get Ready With Me. Um, flight attendant edition so you can check it all out because I also did my makeup and hair and I have this very thin hair net na nabibili lang sa Divisoria very affordable 30 pesos lang ata for 10 pieces and then you can also buy some in SM department store meron naman dun ganito ring style um, pero 2 pieces lang siya it's 50 pesos kuha lang din ako ng hair pins to secure it, attach it in my hair. So yeah, attach, attach ko lang siya dyan. Kita niya ba guys? Nilagay ko lang siya sa top part ng ponytail para lang kumabit siya dun. And then I'm going to wrap this hairnet all around my hair like this. going to wrap it again and twist it and after twisting another twisting motion so puro lang tayo twist dito mga guys so using bobby pins we are going to secure the hair siguro mga two pieces or three depends on how thick your hair is and makita nyo meron tayo mga tayo tayong buhok dyan. Using a hairspray, I'm going to hide all of this baby hairs that I have. Make sure guys na walang matitirang mga baby hair na nakatayo. As much as possible, maging flat lang yung hair natin all throughout. Kaya, kung pwedeng gumamit ng maraming hairspray, we are going to do that. Alright, now that you are all set, you've done the makeup, attire, hair, and everything, ready ready ka na para pumunta sa yung scheduled interview. Let's not forget to be mentally prepared as well, gather your thoughts, practice it, and wear your best and genuine smile. Because guys, at the end of the day, yung smile na yun yung magdadala sa inyo. Advice lang din guys, if you wanted to stand out above everybody else, if you wanted to do something different, just keep it discreet and conservative. Because in this line of job, you are not required to stand out, but you are required to blend in. So be yourself, enjoy the moment, and give it your all. Give your best shot, guys. Kapag ginawa mo yan, wala kang pagsisisihan. I hope that I help you in my own little way. And yun, good luck on your application. And see you on my next video. Bye!